23 Years Behind Bars by Jabari Marquise McCullough. Born in Miami, Florida and raised in Liberty City, I felt trapped. Drug dealers, single moms, script clubs, and a ton of other things I was surrounded by as a kid. Growing up, life seemed perfect. My dad was a local street hustler and my mom was a provider. I was blessed to have my grandmother, both of my grandparents, and my great-great-aunt in my life as a child. Unlike many of my friends who told stories of how they never got a chance to meet their grandparents and some having parents deceased or their parents have been divorced, I realized how truly blessed I was. And the gray hair on top of my head must have been luck as my grandmother said. My dad was arrested when I was around the age of three, forcing my mom to get a job and hold down the bills. Although my dad had left a good amount of cash stashed for us, we still had to live a normal life. No more gifts every Friday just because, or no more just blowing money. Reality kicked in, and I knew I needed to come up with a plan. Seeing my mom struggle was one thing I could not sit back and do. So I started to learn to draw. Got accepted into Charles R. Drew Middle School Magnet Program for Arts. Later on, I lost weight and got braces on my teeth so when I enter high school, I can have the image I had wanted to build. In high school, I was quiet. My freshman year, Sitting back observing everything and everyone including teachers to see what and whom I'm going to be surrounded by for the next four years. I graduated high school with titles such as Best All Around, Homecoming Prince, Prom Prince, and the ultimate title, Mr. Miami Northwestern 2008-2009. I had been planning for years and no one knew it. I didn't tell a soul because I had so much built up inside and was scared to let anything surface out of fear of others judging me. Comparing me to my brother and dad is one issue I had to face basically every day when in Liberty City due to my brother and dad being well known in the area. Now that I'm in college and I found myself and I'm comfortable in the skin I am, I plan on becoming who I want to be. I want to not only be a rapper and a model but also an entertainer. Tour dates, photo shoots, fans, media, all excites me and gives me a rush. I want to share my story because I'm sure others can relate. Some might be going through what I once went through, and some might just know exactly the feeling of what I'm going through. My grandmother told me good things come in three. So I plan on releasing a total of three books. The Struggle, 23 Years Behind Bars, released this year, 2013. The Beginning, New Life, released in 2014. And Jabari McCullough, Never Would've Made It, releasing in 2019. Attention. This book is only a raw copy of what's in my head for my fans to see. A small clip of my life, my story. Inside these pages are a small piece of the next books to come. And some raw lyrics of me before the fame and before the hype. And with three being my favorite number, I decided for this book to reflect the same content three times. That way my name, my story, and my book will stick to your head. Thanks for all the support and be on the lookout for the beginning which I'm working on now, and my goal is 500 words. Be blessed. Jabari McCullough. I was here. I would like to thank everyone who believes in me and thank everyone who's watching this video. I want to motivate and inspire others and show them that dreams do come true. If you live your life right, keep your faith in God and work hard. Be blessed. I was here. Jabari Marquise McCullough.